Hello everybody, welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to my Michael Schilling Coaching Carousel Series here in NCAA 13. This is episode uh, 50 something. Last episode I made my USC coaching debut as we destroyed Ute, the Utah Utes and in this episode we're taking on an FCS school. Hooray! So this is going to be a thumbs up for this episode. Next episode's not going to be so easy. Because we got the Cal Golden Bears, and then we got that buy, and then we got back to back buys, and then we played in th here throughout. But the matches you guys better look forward to, you guys are looking forward to, is a game against the 8th ranked Oregon Ducks. Then I get my revenge against Washington for beating us, but at least we got, at least I'm on an even playing field this time. Then we got the game against Stanford, that one's gonna be good. Then against Arizona. Then the, the big rivalry game. Oh, you got a text. Hold on one moment. Okay, UCLA. Then we got Notre Dame. That one's going to be a t that. This is the first time we're facing a number one team in this series. So we came a long way. Basically, we came a long way in this series. Then we got a bye, and then that said conference championship. Oh, uh, and if you guys haven't seen, let's take a look. But before, let's take a look. Let's take a look back at some of. Let's take a look back at my career as an offensive coordinator here. Well, first off, we started off. In Mountain, the Mountain West with the Hawaii Warriors. The Hawaii Warriors. That didn't turn out so well. We lost to said Washington Huskies in the Las Vegas Bowl. And then we, I went to UAB. And the, this was going to be a long tough challenge. Wrong. Ended up, ended up winning the Armed Forces Bowl. And that ended up being their first bowl win in school history. And if that wasn't enough, led by a new quarterback, Paul Matthews, and our running back, Quinn Pearson, or should I say my Heisman Trophy winner, Quinn Pearson, of the UAB Blazers. We ended up, win by the way, who won the Doc Walker? Pearson again. <laughs> and we got the Walter Kent. Quinn Pearson, what a surprise. College Football Player of the Year. Oh my god. <laughs> and so Quinn got a lot. 60 years, I doubt we're going to reach that high, but I'm gonna gun for it and if that wasn't enough we got the mother of all trophies the national championship game and also we won the conference championship game by beating SMU I think I'm pretty sure it's SMU but but enough of that let's slay the dragons and how fitting we got an actual sword in this game So right now it is 4.08, but since there's plenty of studio updates in here, I'm going to keep myself updated because I am not doubting my luck with this. And I'm on UMG's Universal Music Group's page. Why? I do not know. And frankly, who cares? Let's get things started. And there's Steve James Parrish. The Coliseum, which, if you guys haven't seen, when during JFK's assassination, the torch was lit. Yeah, USC baby. So, and it's funny to say I was did not expect USC to beat Stanford a few weeks ago. And the new head coach did a, is doing pretty good. So I want to know what you guys think. Should USC keep the coach that's on now, or get someone like Jack Del Rio? And oh, here we go. Here we go. Gotta love the cheerleaders. <laughs> 
Here we go. Tradition. It's bash it. Here we here we go. Let's slay the dragons and oh look nearly looked like he was about to get there and there's the Trojan logo. Yeah, I wish the football I wish the basketball team was better than the football team. But what am I saying? We got the coach that led Florida Gulf Coast to the Sweet 16 last year. So this has to be good. And I think that's me right there. Here we go. And uh, I'm here come the Trojans. Of you. S. Ian, I really wish they need to get in that tradition. Dun, dun, dun. USC all the way and flat out gotta say I love the number stencils here at USC it is beyond classic compared to what FCS Midwest has which is stupid and we lose and they're gonna receive oh yeah good luck getting crushed by our defense <laughs> So here we go. We're gonna start off with the PA verts here. Here we go. Let's get started. So we got Ant. We got Love. We're gonna do a pass play first. Sorry, Carpy. As we got Adrian Love makes the pass over to Wilcox, and that's gonna be a first down for USC. And here we go with the studio updates. Let's see. And Oregon beat LSU. And wait, have we, ever, have we seen this already? Have we seen that already? Okay, now it's time to get Andrew involved because he's he, we could have I could coach two Eisman Trophy winners in a row here. And in the same position too, I might add. And there you see Andrew Carpenter. Ooh, three. Ouch. So Andrew Car so Adrian is tr now gonna be given another pass play here and it's a deep curls pass play. What a surprise. And here we go, giving it to Carpet, giving it to Carpy, and look at that! First down, Cat. What a run by Andrew Carpenter. That's what we like to see here in uh here in Los here at USC. And here we go, and there's Andrew Carpenter. Look at him going. Whoop! And oh, that was a big mistake. He would have he would have gotten a lot more yards if he didn't do that. And there you see the band. Actually, is the door slit? Hang on. Nope. Not, but at least they acknowledge it. At least they... And I love that there's a clock right underneath it. Oh, by the way, bring an NFL team to Los Angeles. Because Oakland Stadium is not safe. And there's Dickens. Look at him go. If his name's Charlie, I'm out of here. So I should be getting a message from w the WWE app in just a few minutes here. So I'm going to have to activate it in just a second here. And oh, five yard. Here we go. Will Dickens. Okay, that's his name. And what? Uh-oh. Not good. And there's Wilcox. Touchdown, USC. Still getting used to that. Go. I love the cheerleaders. Here we go. That's what we like to see here at USC. And by the way, what happened? Oh no! If he's hurt, that's gonna. That's it. He's not winning the Heisman. Nope. We're good. Although FCS Midwest lost Teddy Lester for four weeks, and he's from Levers, Rip, Riverside. Really? You should have transferred, not play for FCS Midwest. Yeah. Best of luck in your future endeavors, buddy. Enjoy working at McDonald's. So here we go. Here's Andrew. Here's Carpenter. And look at that. First down, USC. Oh, we got a studio update again here. And, wow, remember the Mustangs? Yeah, they got the death penalty, and look what happened. Now watch, we're going to have to play them again in this series. And actually, remember what I said in my Old Dominion episode earlier today? Saying that Old Dominion... I want to do a series. I want to do a let you guys get involved. Well, I may do it for this series too for next season because well, 
I feel that you guys need to get involved as Lester's out for four. Oh, he just got hurt. Jeez. Yeah, best of luck in your future endeavors, like I said, Bo. Wait. And there's Wilcox. Look at him go. That's the second touchdown of the game. Touchdown, Trojans. Oh, man, Andrew Wilcox. Nice work. And once again, our, our amazing defense has stopped the Dragons off track here. So here we go. Adrian Love hands it, hands it off to Andrew Carpenter. Carpenter doesn't get too far. Got, he got 10, but still, they still say second and inches. Sorry. And here we go, Wilcox. First down! That's John Wilcox, not Andrew. Blech. Got two touchdowns thus far. In this amazing game. Okay, let me check my Sports Center app here. Yeah, I updated. I do up check my uh, apps for updates. So with the Slammies coming up, and oh, we got a good Monday Night Football game on here. We got the Washington Redskins and the San Francisco 49ers. So it's RG3 versus Colin Kaepernick. This is gonna be a good match. Although the Redskins season has been nothing but disappointing. Same with the Niners. This is the team I picked to win the Super Bowl last year. And they made it only to get screwed. And also on, also on tap here we got in basketball it's Minnesota losing to Syracuse. Sorry not. I said no I am not going to StubHub. Although I want to visit the, ba the StubHub Arena in Carson, California someday. So I'm going to hit the X and... You're not take. You're not refusing, are you? are you? There we go. Thank you. No, I'm not. Let's see what the, what the record is right now. And poor, poor, poor Syracuse. They got later on. They got oh, they're five and oh. So this is a blemish on their record may not. Actually, it's eight points, so they can make this up. And there's the good old Oliver touchdown Trojans. Well, they're five and zero. Oh. Man, Minnesota sports, University of Minnesota sports, they're doing very well lately. So let's take a look at news preview. Derek Rose out for the season, big surprise. And I know what you guys have been asking me via Twitter. What? What is? What are my thoughts on Kobe resigning? Well, I'm thrilled, obviously. I'm thrilled, obviously. I'm thrilled, obviously. But I'm thrilled, but the big question is, is Bow going to stick around? And apparently, UMass, yeah, you heard right, UMass has been in the poll, so they're ranked 24th. Well, so if they lose, they're out again. <laughs> And they had to work all the way. Wait, Jameis Winston. Yeah, he's up for some awards, but despite that little scandal that he's having. So 21 nothing in favor of Florida, in favor of USC. And actually, that would be really awesome if I made that leap to the ACC to take on the joint Florida State. But that's going to have to wait. Oh, wait a minute. Here's David Wilcox. No, that's far. First and goal. Adrian Love, 7 for 8 thus far. Way to go, Adrian. And Adrian is sadly a senior. Actually, see? Yeah, he is a senior. So he will be going to Madden 25 very soon. So that means, and so is John Barnett. But Adam Bradshaw is our main guy for the next couple next couple of seasons. Next season, because next season is a contract year. But there's a good chance I'm going to re-sign. And so is Andrew Carpenter, too, actually, now that you think of it. Here we go. Here's Carpenter. Touchdown, USC. First touchdown of the day. Actually, I think it may be time to turn on the WWE app. That's far because... 
I did the app during the Survivor Series last night, which is probably why it took so long. That's what led to the, the Simon Blackwell series to be filmed. And there's a good blast to Oliver, and that's going to be another first down. And so far, no studio updates thus far. And actually, you know what? Maybe tomorrow we can actually uh, do another episode and plus get Smithers updated. Because he's with San Jose State. So yeah, all the co some of the coaches in this series are going to California for some reason. And there's Andrew's second incompletion. Okay, let me activate the app. Oh, it's already activated. Whoops. Because that's what happens when I forget to turn stuff off. Okay, let me turn this off. That way I can get the announcement one more time. Well, at least on the plus side, at least I can activate me, make me pay attention to this. And we are mainly focusing on getting a shutout. Yeah, a shutout. Oh, here we go. Giving it to an Oh! Close, but no cigar. And it's a duh, sorry. You're staying at the 20s. Hope you learned your lesson. Mr. Announcer! And oh, there's Gordon! Ooh! What? What the? Oh, you jerk! You pushed him out of that! You jerk! And for that, you must die! Touchdown, Trojans! So here we go, third, we're already in the third quarter already, jeez. And now it's time to activate the app again. Oh, by the way, in case you guys want to know what it looks like for Raw, take a look. There we go. So maybe next time we're, I'm at, next time... And there's Adrian look at that oh close line from hell studio update. Oh that's gonna be good, Louisville versus Kentucky. Already? Oh no, I wanna save that for the end. So here we go. 35 nothing here. And uh oh, someone's playing copyright music. There's Wilcox first down! There's Barr, and Barr gets it first down, as Clint Barr has 81 yards already. No! So here we go, as it's going to be thrown to Andrew Carpenter, and Andrew Carpenter gets it in the, near the first and goal! And, ah oh crap, I gave it to the fullback. Well, the fullback has been completely ignored for far too long, as he gives it to Bryant. He got it to the one, and thus helping Andrew secure his second touchdown of the day. I just, I was going to say that. So here we go. Now it's time to get Barnett in here. Wait, no, Adrian? Seriously? Well, I guess they're saving it for the second half. So here we go. Don't forget, Pac-12 play starts next week. Here in Andrew Carpenter, 86. Oh, that's not going to help his Heisman chances. Well, I guess unless we want to play running from here on out. But it's still early, second week of the season. But he is projected to has the heavy favorite to win. I mean, 
I mean, look what happened with Quinn Pearson. And I think this may help him right here. First down, USC. And actually, I realized when I said, do we get a trophy for Battle of the Bones with UAB in Memphis? As John Wilcox, he should be the player of the game right now. Nominee at this point. Here we go, Adrian Love. Hands it off to Di Will Dickens, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Trojans. And ladies and gentlemen, it is safe to say it is over. And, and here comes Barnett to co make his first appearance of the game, and he's wearing the unlucky number 13 for some reason. And Barnett gets sacked right off the bat. Good job. That's Joel Barnett. Jeez. But that's okay. I mean, we can... We're not ending the shutout. There is no way. And good! We're gonna, they're gonna try and... Sorry. And our defense is not doing a good job. So at the end of the third quarter, it's 49 nothing. And we're going to do our best to preserve this shot. Okay, they're saying, hope you learned your lesson. So last chance for USC here. So hopefully Joe takes some time. And look at this. Look at, well, we got, we got some yards. Nope, studio update. Oh, that's a good one. And we're going to sack and they're going to score. Watch. No, they intercepted. Nice job. Good job, Bull. Unless we faked it. Okay, no doubt about it. We're going to rush. Here and here we go. Here comes Barnett. Whoop. See the oh, he went too far. Second and two. Not bad. Ring. Ding, ding. So here we go. Barnett hands it off to Dickens. And there's Dickens. And that is first, in, first down. As this team, it's close to perfection as it gets. First we went to a middle of the road team. Then we went to a team that needs desperate need of rebuilding. And only to have that team win the national championship. And how about we're controlling a national championship branded team? And uh oh. Here comes Andrew Bradshaw. Uh oh. May not be good here. And look out. Third and 11. Ouch. 0 for 2 in the third down. Well, normally against a normal opponent, that would be bad. But this is an FCS school. So. But still, that's no excuse. And here comes Barnett. Can he break that curve? Yes! Touchdown, USC! Love that celebration. As USC is now up 55 to nothing. Uh, you want us to stop? Screw that. Here goes Barnett. Hands it off to Dickens. And that's going to be a... Five yards. All we have to do is kill the clock. But if but I hear that the coaching staff at USC has to pay attention because guess what? They're probably gonna not spam the timeouts. So here we go. And Dickens is starting to suck. Great. Fight song. Last chance. One for three. Lousy on the second down. We got screwed out of it the first time. The second time, that was really unfortunate. And there you see, fights on. Could we, could we get it? Yes! First down, USC! Studio update. And they're taking on Navy. And actually, speaking of Navy, I gotta say, I like the new helmets they have for the Army-Navy game. That helmet is probably the best, but hey, it beats the hell out of the Sabres' new third jerseys. And if you guys are asking, yes, I'm getting it. I'm going to get the code and put it in the game. 
so that way, if any of my characters make that team, they'll be ashamed to wear it. But, I extremely doubt it, and I digress. And there's a nice throw to Barr, and that's a touchdown! Barr gets a touchdown that he truly deserves. And ladies and gentlemen, with a dollar, a buck fifty left, and there goes the shot on, and that is it. The Trojans win 63-7. to seven. So Utah got, a, got, we're better than this team. No crap. So we got a half an hour left until Raw, so I'm a bit surprised at that. Well, Raw, don't forget, it's from Law. The road to TLC starts tonight at... What the hell? So not even a contest. Yeah, you're right. Not even a freaking contest. So we need a fullback and a halfback. And let's do the fullback thing first. First guy is Quentin Dixon for Ponway. So this could be a good guy right here. Let's scout him first. And oh, good. We're ahead. Ooh. Oh, so he's a 79, but still, that's practically excellent for a team like this. So we're going to talk to him, and I'm not quite sure if I offered him a... Yeah, I offered him. I'm going to give him prospect's choice. Okay, academic prestige, better than Boise. And his parents told him about the classes there last week. Okay, campus lifestyle, again, better than Boise. And we ain't 188. Let's see how far we're ahead. Only 240. And I like that Iowa State is on there. And why is Iowa... Why is Colorado State in the, in the mix? But now this is where we started getting some... Some high... Let's see here, so... Okay, looking at Dan Randall. Yeah, we're gonna... Do, we're gonna scout him first. Because... Uh-oh. Dan Randall, let's see. Oh, Duke moved down it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think he may be a bust. But we're still going to talk to him. Still going to talk to him, basically. And his second choice is Nevada. Okay, academic prestige. Again, better than Nevada. Oh, North Highlands. That's not that far from me. In 155, let's take a look here. Let's see how far ahead of Nevada are we in. 240 still. Next is Tony Rhodes. No, not Cody, but Tony. So let's take a look. Get a plus nine. That's huge. Oh, oh, -ho. we got a gem. Quick, we better get him. Oh, we got to schedule. We can schedule him a visit right now, and we're gonna schedule that visit against Washington Week Ten. So he doesn't have anything planned that weekend. Academic prestige, better than Washington for sure. 61! Stadium atmosphere. Uh-oh, we can't hit Michigan, but we can't hit Washington. And 61 again, jeez. Campus lifestyle. Theirs is a C. Washington, Michigan. So we're going to take a hit on Michigan. Only eight, okay. Okay, playing style. Let's hit Michigan one more time. 32 that time, okay. So he gained 380 points there. That is huge. And, and the 200 behind, so it's still practically... Wait, did I offer him a scholarship? Nope. I didn't. So let's take a look at the fullbacks. And the only one we got is Corey McAlfie here. So here we go. Let's go. Injury, that's good. Oh, crap. He's probably going to be a bust. No, he's practically an 80, so that's still good. Oh, he's ready for a visit. Already? All right. That's, but again, we're going to have him against UCLA. That way we can... Academic prestige. This is why things are getting a little difficult. Okay, we can hit Ohio State. They're 32 against Ohio State. Jeez. Playing time. Again, we're going to slam Ohio State. They only got six. That sucks. Conference prestige, A plus. Oh ho! Oh, there's an A plus. Dang it! Program tradition. Oh, they're an A plus. Oh, either way. Okay, playing style. Let's see. There's a C plus. Duh. 
Oh, can we... Can we try and swerve him against... Notre Dame, please! Okay, I give up. So we're fifth, so we could climb up in the polls that quickly. I mean, we're only 640 behind. So if not, we're practically screwed if we don't get up. So a half an hour in the video. So ladies and gentlemen, that should just about do it for this episode. I'm going to do some filming for a bit. And you know what? We're still... Actually, I got plenty of time. What am I doing? What am I saying? I can actually watch the videos while waiting. But I'm not going to show it because I do not want to get a copyright strike. So, we're going to do this as we're about to oppose Weezency here in 2015. Although, hard to believe 2004. Is that hard to believe that's almost here? On 30 minutes. So collecting, and I'm pretty sure that the Cal game's a rivalry game. We gotta check that just to be sure. And I'm pretty sure Cal went 0 and 1. So let's take a look at their schedule. Because who do they lose to? Central Michigan. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is a rivalry game. Yes, it is. No trophies involved, though. But it's nice to get a chance to win a rivalry game. So as we take a look at the top 25, and we are, again, not there. As we take a look at the top 25. Oh. Top 25. And as you can see, Notre Dame is still ahead. And Central Florida moved up to the top 10, so they could be a threat to force to be reckoned with. Washington, we want to make sure they fall. As UCLA is up there, as you can see, we gained a lot of votes, so it's only a matter of time before we get in. As LSU dropped, give them a nice round of applause. And I'm curious, let's see where we are. Let's take a look before we go to the Heisman Watch. 26! We're only like 26! Oh, that is heartbreaking right there. I want to get back in the polls. Heisman wants to take a look. As you can see, Adrian Love's on there now. We can get in and be a quarterback. So we get two chances here. And apparently that game against uh, got Patrick Carpenter out. So, so we're going to try and get him in. But let's try and make sure we can knock off Garen Mitchell here. So... That way we can say, screw you, SMU again. So it's time for the players of the week again. Again, ignore, but take a look at Pac-12. We got ignored for Ben, Alice, and Shelton Nolan. Okay, that makes sense. So ladies and gentlemen, that should just about do it. Come back next time as we head to Berkeley to take on the Golden Bears of Cal. See you guys after all.